2023 marks the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and I got a chance to sit down and talk to Femi Taylor, who portrayed Ula, not only in 1983, but again in 1997 for the re-release. So let's go. You've had such an amazing experience in Star Wars, and it's the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Can you, can you talk about your experience doing Return of the Jedi? Oh my goodness, it was, well, first of all, I wasn't going to go up for the job. Because really? they didn't no, because they didn't tell me what it was. And, you know, I've been working as a, as a dancer, singer, actress, you know, four or five years before that. <laughs> and we all know what our auditions are. And I just thought, I'm not going to go up for something I have no idea. But something, an inner voice, my inner spirit said, go along. Yeah. And I did go along. And I met the late director, Roger Markman. And um, I said, look, what is this for? And he said, well, look, I'm, and he's very apologetic, so we can't say anything. But anyway, can you dance? I said, yes, I am a trained dancer. And um, he said, we'll probably invite a few of you back to dance. So I got a phone call, getting a second audition, and we did this very grueling, uh, very grueling audition. And then at the end of it, uh, when I was going up to the town, so I did the original cast of Cats, and I've seen none of the time, um, I found out that I got the card from Ula. So that was amazing. So I knew Star Wars had this its own sort of um, entity already. So getting into Return of the Jedi and filming it, and um, you know, I, I sort of say it's like a job. Yeah. But it was like a different job. You know, it was sort of like well, um. It wasn't just dancing though, you know, because yeah. when, when you were when you and Richard were, were making the the character of Ula, yeah, knowing what was going to happen to her, yeah. Like, did, like, how, how was that process of saying, okay, she's a prisoner, but you're about to go through this experience? Yeah, well, they didn't really give me much of a backstory, which was quite hard, but, uh, but enough for me to draw out something that I could portray in the character. So I knew that, you know, I was a slave to Jabba. Um, I, I, saved, I didn't really know I was going to get killed until they said, we need to do the stunt. Can you do the stunt and you jump into the box and then you're, the, the rank or thing comes over? the phone comes over and and you're eaten but yeah you know it, it, they sort of they sort of wound it as they went along you know they yeah. just wonder this is what you're going to do da, 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 da. so you know, i didn't really know what i was in for but at the same time i knew what it was, it was but, but your scene was so pivotal because yeah. it let us know that that's a dangerous place yes it yeah, let us yeah, know true. yeah it's true Yes, and I soon knew it was a dangerous part. Her, Ula knew it was a dangerous part. She knew that if Fortuna had actually, you know, enticed her to come and, or tricked her to come and work for, for, for Jabba, um, but she didn't realize how dangerous it was. So, yeah. you know, I had to have all that going on in my mind. So, get, okay, do I stand up for me? You know, stand up for myself in terms of when he wants to yeah. pull me in and... and, and, and it, it, want more from me and I went oh, actually um, no right no and then I didn't realize it was going to lead to my death yeah it was an interesting journey well it wasn't really a death because you got to reprise your character well yes I did and in, in, was it 1997's 1990s hmm. 1995's it, in 1995's re re-edition special yeah, edition, edition yeah. and it was so cool that yeah. they got to have you come yeah, back I and do. reprise your role of yeah, Ula yeah. what it's, was that like it was Bizarre, because I wasn't expecting, at first thought it took them like three months to get to find me. Um, and when they finally found me when I was in New York and I hadn't told anybody I was there, um, they said, the thing is, you've got off a new original costume. And back then, you know, I was 35 and I want my boys. And, that. and this, otherwise, they would have CGI'd me. So, yeah. I, goodness, I, I bet, you know, first years later. But you're a dancer. It's like yeah, you're, you're, you're like incredible. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that, that paid off. That played in my favor, so and and that's why they were able to shoot more footage. That's incredible, and it's so nice to see you here. It's so nice to finally, like, see action figures that are getting made of Ula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more, more, more. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for taking time and seeing Thank us. So and it was a, it was my honor meeting you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you for joining me on this episode. And if you found this video interesting, please give it a like, and also please consider subscribing. To make these videos possible, please join my community on Patreon, or you can join my community right here on YouTube as a member. I thank all my supporters. Without your support, these videos would not be possible. And as always, my friends, thank you, and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video, or just check out the next episode. 
And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.